guys <clears throat> welcome to my channel Jesus wants you I'm Nikki Pratt I know I should be in the bed and I told you guys I would probably and only make a video unless something very big or very important comes up and it did I wish I can talk, my mouth can really open like I really want it to, and I should be somewhere laying down. After I had surgery, I'm fine, I'm fine, but after I had surgery, this whole side of my, even my nose, half of my nose, all the way over here, all this was just numb. I look like the elephant man. But um, after I had surgery, I was just all pumped up. After I heard this information and if I could have got on here and talked to you guys right after I had that surgery I probably would have oh without a doubt but my little 10 year old was with me and being with her is like being with somebody my age she is very 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 smart and um, I did something real stupid after my cousin my cousin's a, a nurse um as well she's an rn and um she dropped me off this morning because she um was the one that you know took me to have the surgery along with my little 10 going on 40 year old little girl okay so um anyway the, the, the stupid thing i did was after she dropped me off Fresh out of anesthesia, you guys. I needed, I didn't have anything to drink. I can't eat any food and I, I didn't even eat much yesterday. So I'm like starving. Okay, so I had to let my cousin leave because she works from 7 at night to 7 in the morning. And she was already falling asleep uh, waiting on me in the waiting area. So I didn't want to keep her, so I went like a dummy, took put my little girl in the car, and um, I wanted to go like to Wendy's and get a Frosty, because it's the only thing I could get or eat, and you know, something to drink real quick by the drive through window. I ended up somewhere else, and I think I put the car in drive when it should have been in reverse, and then vice versa, somewhere else. It was just crazy. Now my mouth is trying to hurt. But anyway, I'm going to get through this. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But um, anyway, I got back at home. I was still pumped up. I even called a friend at work and told her what I found out that you guys definitely need to know. The Holy Spirit is definitely, definitely confirming stuff. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I didn't even, I'm showing you how uh, God works. Uh, I didn't even plan for uh, this particular cousin to take me to have the surgery because of the way she worked. You know, I thought I would get my mother-in-law to do it. But when I mentioned to my cousin, she said, well, I, I can take you, I can pick you up when I get off work and we can just go straight there, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So anyway, I was in the car with her telling her about the video that I did last night. I shared with you guys about this big medical ordeal and this Mark of the Beast implementation that is coming on the scene before our very eyes. And, you know, I was describing to her how, you know, the, these cheek swabs and one company is doing it to send it off a DNA testing in the database. And then you got another company um, with the bottom logo called uh, Genetics. You know, no matter what medication you're on, they're testing you and doing cheek swabs and sending it off. Um, it's just crazy, guys. It makes no sense. If you need to be drug tested, I mean, you can do by urine, blood or hair a hair strand to be drug tested and that can be done here within um 
here within your state, within your city. It does not have, why does it has to be sent off? Why? Why? It makes no sense. But I told you why. Okay, watch this. So after I told her everything and, and she's already, you know, she said, um, you know, she said, there's no reason for that. She said, that is just crazy. But she said, um, wait a minute. She said, didn't you say y'all did cheek testing swabs? I said, yeah. She said, well, huh. She said about five to six weeks ago, her job just received the same packaging and they got a massive email sent out, sent out to all of them, all of the nurses. And um, the email said from now, and by the way, she works with babies. She's in um, the neonatal field when uh, the women, um, I can't even think, talk, um, obstetrics, when, when the women have babies, um, in the neonatal field, okay? She works with the babies after they've been born. And she said, now they got this mask email that... From now on, they need to do cheek swabbing on the parents. And how they spilled it to them was, um, it's DNA testing. She said, Nikki, that's crazy because we just start doing DNA testing. And she said, we do it right there on the spot now. We got this mask email saying that we needed to start doing it. And they're telling them that it's done for paternity testing. What? Paternity testing. Okay. Now, see, if you're a new mom, or you're a single mom, or you had a baby out of wedlock, and you don't know, and the doctor come to you and say, okay, you're having a baby, and, um, you know, just so you can know for sure who the baby daddy is, or whatever, whatever, however it is that they're, doing this but it is crazy she said they do they have started doing dna testing as well okay i'm in orthopedics okay back and neck she is in the baby field all right and then you have this broad spectrum company the genetics talking about you know, we can test you to see if you have the gene pool to see if you're more prone to get uh, blood clots, blah, 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 blah. And if you're on all these array of medicines, and I mean, that's almost every medicine on the man. You need to be tested. You need to have your cheek swabbed. And they sending it to a, a, a database. Data base. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, guys, that's the third time. The third time. Something's not right. And I've already told you what it is. There is no other explanation for it. And guess what? They swab in these little bitty babies, too. Oh, yeah. She said they swab the mama, the daddy, and the baby. Because if you're doing a DNA paternity testing deal, you will have to swab the baby, the mama, and the daddy. Guess what? That's the whole little family. It just don't make sense. I mean, it makes sense, but it's just... It's... How sneaky and crafty it is. Remember I told you in my past videos. They're not going to say. And hold up these signs. With the little evil skull head. And the bone saying. Come on over. Get your mark of the beast. It's not going to be like that. It's crafty. I mean and if you know. You go to the doctor. And you don't, you're not one to ask questions. And you've been with your doctor for years. And. You thinking, oh, all is well. He knows what he's talking about. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I've always been like that, you know. 
So especially when I first started in the medical field back in 1993, I had doctors tell me I had uh, something and I, mm -mm, I'm going to get a second opinion. Nope. Mm -mm. And I always tried to figure out and diagnose myself. I always read medical books at age 12 and 14. Mm -mm -mm. I, mm -mm. I'm not saying don't listen to your doctor, but listen to your doctor to a certain extent. Meaning, ask questions. Don't let them come in and tell you s certain things and um, you don't ask questions. Especially if they're coming in with that cheek swabbing test. Ask them, what is it done for? Why? And I'm, I can almost guarantee you, the spill that they're going to give you is a spill that they've been shot down. The, the spill that they've been told to give you. The government, the Obamacare is where all this has started. This is all implemented through the Obamacare. Okay, first to get all your information. Now we need your urine for your, then we need your DNA. Now we need to uh, do genetic testing. Now, oh, by the way, mamas, daddies, we're going to start doing paternity testing, whether you want it or not. What? Mm -mm. It's getting serious, you guys. If you're not, you guys, it's time for me to get another Bible. This, this is crazy. Well, when you see a Bible all like this, all ate up, you know it is properly being used. This is what I have many. That I can go grab. But I always grab the old faithful. I am going to buy me another Bible. I have more. But I like this one. And um, But it's time for us to get in our word. It's time for the body of Christ to stick together. There are a lot of things that's going on with a lot of us. Spiritually. Um, that we need to connect with. And pray and there's some of us on here that know the answers to some of the things we we going through um uh to um what I was going to say um to the extent of seeing numbers 111 444 333 and 222 and stuff like that I've talked about it in my past videos which I have had answers, but I'm just bringing that up to make a point. That is just one thing, you know, that's uh, a lot of people. Of course, we've been, there's a lot of us been dreaming dreams and having visions. And some of us have visions and dreams that we don't know. Uh, we don't know how to get the interpretation on. And I'm not saying that they're not praying to get the interpretation. I'm just saying there's so many people that it, I had somebody to inbox me today, by the way. Um, again, on that big earthquake video, a dream vision I had and um, said they had this similar dream. There is no way humanly possible on different parts of the world where... I think it's probably like 15 people have contacted me that has had the same similar dream in all over parts of the United States and parts of the world. So that's what I mean. It's just, it's time for us to stick together and keep each other encouraged and pray for each other. There's a lot of people that is suffering um, emotionally, uh, spiritually, because Satan knows that he has but a short time and he is attacking um, a lot of people. I get a lot of messages for prayers. And as soon as I had surgery, I heard one of my subscribers reached out to me in prayer. And I had just come from under anesthesia and finally laid my head down on the bed. Oh, well. What, whatever, whatever it is I got to do, you know, we have to stay encouraged and lift each other up. And if you know that there's people that is hurting 
and you're watching their channels and you don't know what's going through them, don't be so quick to judge. You you never know what somebody is, is going through. Um, there's been this one particular person. Um, she shared a lot of things that I share, meaning we have a lot in common. And I've tried to reach out to her and get a message to her, send an email. I don't know, maybe she changed her email. I don't know how to e inbox, um, but I haven't got an answer back from her. If you guys know her, her name is Crystal Clay. Um, her, her spirit is very, is beautiful. I trust her. I tested that spirit. It's great. Um, she herself has had a lot of dreams and visions. She also see the numbers 111. 111 has been very, very prominent. That with 333 and that 444 this morning. Um, and I read to you guys what Jeremiah 33 and 3 says. And then I also read, I think it was Ezekiel 44 and 4. Um, but, and then I told you that the 111 was Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, but she was just saying, I saw one of her videos where she was saying she know that there are other members of the body that had some of the answers that, and questions that some of us probably don't even know, you know, what they mean. And on my way to, uh, have surgery this morning, um, we pulled up behind a car, the license plate said 333. And... As soon as I saw it, turning a corner, I looked up to my right on the gas sign where you get your gas. There was 333 again. And then um, I saw 444 like two or three times. So something's up. And then I, I get these, I'm getting messages about this comet that's supposed to come um, in the wee hours, wee hours of the morning, somehow somebody then got a time, two o'clock, somebody sent me a video, uh, to watch, saying, Nikki, please watch. This particular prophet is saying that something's supposed to hit at 2 a.m. in, um, where is it? Um, I want to say the Dominican Republic. No. Oh, somewhere in the Caribbean. I cannot think right now. And um, so it should hit the United States at 5 in the morning. All I can say, I I don't know, guys. All I can say is we need to be prayed up and be ready and repent daily for whatever happens. For whenever, however whatever goes on plead the blood of jesus over you your household your house your dwelling your neighborhood your state your city as a whole and um just believe in god and believe that you will be protected in whatever his because yes his judgment is coming the united states is just you know i had a recent dream of seeing the united states i saw the west coats trimmed in what looked like and there were other states, too, involved, trimmed in, like, um, runway lights. But the right side, I mean, all the middle and the right side was all dark. But looking at the west, I felt like it was the east coast. It was almost like it was switched. Even though the west coast was lit up, somehow in my dream, I felt like it was the east coast. It's so crazy. Anyway, this video has been 20 minutes, almost. I'm going to shut up. I need to go lay down. So, uh, you guys, again, stay prayed up. And um, I don't know if I do another video this weekend. If not, I'll see you guys Monday or Tuesday. Okay? Thanks.